Ciao, ciao a tutti. And thank you everybody for joining us today. Uh, we are very excited to have you here. Yeah, for an intimate conversation with a very special guest. And thank you, Olivia, for being here with us. I'm Vera Giusti, one of the Giusti sisters, and I'm Sara. In fact, we have another sister, Mari, that uh, was not able to join today, but for a good reason. In fact, she just had a baby last week. So we are very proud to welcome a new little member of the big Giusti family. And thank you, Olivia, for being here with us. Well, Hi, ladies. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. And congratulations on your latest collection. Very exciting. And congratulations to the newest addition to your family. I'm so happy. And the biggest congratulations to your sister. Please pass along yes. for me. Yeah, we know, in fact, that you are very much into Italy, Italy, Italian lifestyle and family. So you understand us very well how happy we are about A hundred percent. It's <laughs> definitely <laughs> fabulous. Well, I'm so excited to be like chatting with you guys today and talking about you know, siblings and working together and collection and what inspires you. So I'm that's why we wanted you to be here with us because you are so much into all of us. We have so much in common and we were so happy. You are a reference for us in style and you are such a reference voice also in the fashion industry. So really, thank you. We are very happy to have this intimate conversation with you right now. My pleasure. <laughs> I know that you have a special bond also with Milano, Olivia, and you are used to be here during the Milan Fashion Week actually we used to present the collection in person in Milano um, today we cannot but um, it's, it's okay I mean also a remote way it's a way to share with our valuable partners friends and with you our collection just a technical note if um, anybody of, of you have a question please write on the Q&A section um, if we have the time we can answer directly or if not we can uh, email after this this webinar so thank you everybody for joining us today um, of course we anticipated the sisterhood is um, the team of the collection we work in sibling and you too olivia sorry you cut out on that last part yeah you you work with your brother isn't it i do i work with my brother you know i think it's it's really wonderful to be able to work with your sibling because they completely yeah. understand you and you know can kind of read your mind and always have your best interest at heart and it's also a nice bonding experience to do together and you know i know my brother has always been very interested in fashion and i think you know working in the fashion industry and helping run our company it's been a it's been a really lovely experience for the last few years and what about you guys how is it working with your siblings yeah, in fact, we are also very used to that. We are a big family and together with my two sisters, we are uh, since 15 years involved in the leadership of the company. We are very thankful to our parents and grandparents. In fact, we are the third generation. And the good thing about us being in the company is in fact the kind of um, evolution, not to say revolution, that we could bring. To Absolutely. And you create a sisterhood within that as well. Well, which is really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, sisterhood is what's really behind the AGL brand somehow, because we are um, what um, uh, really is behind the brand. Uh, and also what we like to do is to create this kind of feeling, not only between ourselves, which is very natural for us, mm -hmm. but also within the company and not only, right? Uh, with the whole team, yes. 65% uh, of the, our team is female um, and most of uh, the, yeah the female team is in the management so it's that may that is the secret behind women that. on a mission to like to, to get things done <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, we work together. I mean, we are used to design together. We design six cents, so we treat together. We are women designing for women because we really understand what women needs also in this special moment. Absolutely. We yeah, it's a, it's a very particular moment, but um, it's easy for us to interpret what women need because we are the really uh, the people that really um, uh, wear AGL every day. 
uh, we yeah we designed together since uh, i mean more than 10 years but not only so in the factory we uh, develop our personality also sure. Yeah, in another role, of course, Sara is the head of sale. I'm the creative director. Mariana is, uh, yeah, the, the the product person. And right. this difference among us, it's uh, richness. Yes, of course. That's what I think. This is really what makes uh, AGL somehow special. The fact that the three different personalities. I have to be honest. I mean, it's not like all uh, roses and uh, you know and leaders, uh, but still the three different. That's what makes it a very interesting conversation and a very interesting way of working together with having multiple opinions and looking at it through different lenses, where it can really come together so nicely. Absolutely. This is what makes LGL so special. The fact that three different personalities are into it, but still always find the merging. So when we decide like a theme in the collection, it's always bringing something different, but at the end finding the balance. This is what we love to do. And also when talking about sisterhood, what we like to do is really bring it in the company, but also outside the company. We want our community to feel it and to see this kind of merging and the di direct contact uh, with them. So like we like to bring it to the customers, to the end consumers, to the press, you know, like really to the whole AGL uh, fun and supporters. We really is what we want to do through our energy and passion that we put in what we do. So it's- That's really wonderful. And it's really nice to see your, your brand identity and how you want to communicate it to your customer and have an involved conversation. I think it's- incredible and you know it reflects you wonderful ladies so well um and your stylish designs and, and italy is another thing that we have in common isn't it <laughs> yes a hundred percent and you know the one thing i love about italy and especially milan is the heritage not only with the cities but with the brands and how incredible the storytelling is and the craftsmanship um is in the quality it's just it, the authenticity it's incredible and you know i can relate very much within our own brand values we, we share similar values in that sense yeah actually it's our history because our grandfather founded the company in 1958 so we are the third generation and when we joined the our family jewel we want to um have a mix between the tradition and the heritage of the tradition that our grandfather teaches us together with the innovation of course we are three italian girls we love fashion and we put in uh, in the company this sense of right. feminine touch not just in the product but also it's an atmosphere you know it's something it's something more so italian girls as the sense of fashion i mean i think we have in, in blood in, in our heart in a way so absolutely it's innate it's just you, you have the love for fashion and you can definitely see that <laughs> right. and also i think i think olivia this is also what helped us in designing and creating collections also in this, uh, let's call it weird time, you know, we really, well, my sisters and I said, okay, no matter what happens out of here, but when it comes to creativity and to collection thinking, we need to keep our energy, we need to keep our positiveness. So this is what drove us. And in fact, sisterhood now together with two keywords, which are, I will tell you in a second, drove us in designing the collection. So when thinking of the coming for winter 2021-22, we thought of two important words, which were like joyful and useful. We wanted our creations to really be great for this time yeah. and to make our girls feel positive, full of energy. I can absolutely speak to that. You know, you have a really great tractor laceless booty and it's black patent with a blue sole and it's really great it gives you a little extra sparkle to walk down the street the black patent leather and but it's also very relatable and wearable and you know you gotta have that cool edge to it 
Exactly. Grazie, Olivia. <laughs> so important. So our shoes are stylish, of course, because as uh, women, we love what is beautiful. But in the same time, we really need uh, walk to be comfortable in our shoes. The shoes must be easy to walk in, of course. And we have some secrets to realize. And very light, too. They're very light. And the soles are fantastic in the inside. Yeah, the quality of our shoes is really 100%. We use just the Italian materials. And yeah, the same Italian tanner is this, they used to work with our grandfather, for example. And another secret is that the lining of our shoes are the same used for children's shoes. And that makes the, our shoes super, super comfortable because we want to be beautiful, but also comfortable in the same time so, or relaxed in a way. And, relaxed, yeah. exactly. That's why we, you know, Olivia, like also um, in this uh, coming um, for winter, uh, we uh, wanted to express our personalities into the collection. Sure. And uh, in fact, if you I see it in the electrical colors. <laughs> <laughs> so we will show you. In fact, you pick the one of Mari's favorite. I what love I wanted that. to show you There's is like how... with a little lock on it. <laughs> During lockdown, you created a very cute loafer. <laughs> exactly. We wanted to play a little bit, but don't anticipate. I will show you everything. <laughs> just, just kidding. I no. love that. The color palette is really beautiful. <laughs> Grazie, veramente. Thank you. Now, we really wanted to also uh, show you uh, um, like how our personalities turned into the shoes. So I wanted to make a little game and show you like uh, how, for example, Mari, let's start with the missing sister, Mari. She expressed her personality into the fall winter collection. She's, uh, I have to say, she's the most uh, romantic and bon ton. Bon ton. Yes, in fact, and also, but also uh, always with a touch of contemporary to it. Yeah. And so her three uh, sneak peek in the collection are, first of all, our I want to show you our iconic booty, but as you can see, it's like the black and white version, but the cutout uh, detail to it makes it very contemporary and special. The geometrical shape, the shape of the heel, everything is clean, but at the same time contemporary. So that's one of her touch to the collection. And then, um, in fact, Mari also loves the glow light. Me too. I know. <laughs> and what I like is the fuchsia that's incorporated through your collection. Thank you, ladies, for sending through the collection. So I had it here in New York to take a look at. <laughs> that's amazing. And in fact, this is like the glow light feet, the slouchy booty, still super, super comfy because of the shape with a feminine heel and really, really lightweight and soft. This is one must have for the coming for winter. It's a nice, easy, sexy boot. Super, yeah. super. And the colors are amazing. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. And then you anticipated one of the most uh, uh, like playful of the collection. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is really- I can't get my shoes in, but they're here. <laughs> This is fantastic, in fact, because, you know, it's like a very serious and classical um, mock, like college mock, hand-stitched, yeah. but we made it special through the detail of the lock, like the unbreakable bond between sisters, with the community, between lovers, and the neon material, the neon floor material, which is so weird and unexpected. unexpected. Exactly. It's fantastic, and I like that you elongated the laughs on it. Um, and then just kind of opened up the toe and made it a bit rounder and chunkier, but then you kind of have a slim line towards the back exactly. to make your legs skinny, which is really flattering. And I love how you guys always use patent leather to some extent within your collections. You know, you really can identify with it. It's easy. It's fun to play with. I think it's, it's a great material. Oh, grazie. <laughs> Thank you. And then, Olivia, I want to um, follow up with what are my favorite. In fact, I am, um, I would say, the most practical and pragmatical and also minimal, but always with a cool attitude to it. So I personally cannot live without combat boots. 
Those are me too. I love a good combat <laughs> there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. In fact, as you can see, it is like a menstrual inspiration style, but still with feminine details like the maxi bow, the three buckles that decorate it, and the extra super light sole that makes it walkable and easy to wear. So it's fantastic. And by the way, I love to wear it also with skirts and dresses because like the contrast, I just love the it. The feminine and masculine play off. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very easy to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And um, then there's what I like to call the unconventional sling back i have you have <laughs> <laughs> that's funny enough <laughs> yeah the unconventional sling back i like to call it like that because in fact it's a kind of a contrast between more of a feminine upper but with a super chunky uh, soul extra light and what i also like of it is the the merging of the colors like this it's yellow beautiful color palette it's like very soft and really it's almost like it's a neutral with a little pop of uh neutral color how i like to kind of describe it <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's really it i love it yeah and um, the last but not least uh, we have what i like to call the ready for action booty ready for action because you know it has a back zipper that makes everything super super easy and then there is like kind of a maxi volume to it but still the pale color the powder pink and the super soft napa leather makes it feminine enough you know to wear with a lot of different outfits absolutely yeah. I really like the color combination love the show it's great yeah this is really nice perfect from day to night right <laughs> Absolutely. Like a mini yeah. skirt with a, a little sparkle, ready to go. Right. Now it's my turn. Are you curious? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm yeah, the most edgy and chef forward sister. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and the must have of, of the season to me is this mock. I love it because of the bright colors. I love the new multi-ring piercing accessoire and the sole. The sole is such as a chunky heel is made by leather. It's also very high, but the, mm, the platform um, in, in the front make it not so high because at the very end, the pitch is almost five centimeters. So it's very walkable. It's easy to work, to walk in. It, it's wide. very stable show. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. In the same line, we have also the combo. That's my combat boot. <laughs> <laughs> love the combat boot. I love a combat boot with a heel. Fantastic. <laughs> Especially in black, it's very chic. Yeah, because uh, look at here. This is, there is this back back cut that is um, really the special detail on this combat boot, and also the lace game make it so special. And again, it's a shoe you can wear from day to night. It's so comfortable and also makes you feel really special. Absolutely. And yeah, and last but not least, uh, sneaker fever. <laughs> Yes, the color combination. Oh, I love it. It's like it Easter. <laughs> So we have one in, in common. Um, so the new, the newest sneaker uh, is one of my favorite because of um, the multicolor upper that makes it so playful, ironical, and the sole, the yellow sole that is super fashion. It's also super light because it's rubber but expanded by hair, and it makes it so light and again so wearable. The lining is so soft and you can wear without shoes in any way. Shoes, AGL shoes are so comfortable and can you can wear, yeah, every day, all around the day in a very, very comfortable way. Forgetting about wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is thanks to our grandfather that teaches us how to build How up. to make them. Yeah, <laughs> good shoes. So we are really curious to know which is your favorite, Olivia. Of course, the moccasin. And I love the moccasins, and I really love the um, the the white cutout boot, the tractor, the heel. It's fantastic. I love that little cutout, especially going into the next season. It gives a little fresh touch to it. Um, black and white is obviously one of my favorite color combinations. Um, and then I really love. Um, the tan and white lug sole. I think that's super cool. Very easy to wear. Right. Kind of, you can make it fashionable with a skirt or with leather pants. 
Yeah, you're right. In fact, it's also hard, you know, to predict what's going to happen because, um, you know, I'm sure you read like that also um, uh, lately, especially the second half of 2020, the use, let's say, of uh, shoes with heels uh, as substantially, I even read that it got, uh, went down 71%, which is- They'll go back up. I'm optimistic. Us ladies, we love our heels too much. We do. We love our heels. Sometimes we even when I'm in the neighborhood, I'll put on like a kitten heel just because, you know, it gives you a different little silhouette and you just want to feel good. And I think that even now it's like, it's important to be dressed. Like you don't have to be over the top, but you should still feel pulled together in the best version of yourself. And, you know, I, all of us women have gone probably through our closets over the last few months and know exactly what we want to wear and we're looking forward to it. So. Yes. Uh, in fact, I wanted to ask you what was your um, attitude because, you know, there's so much talking about that. It's so hard to predict uh, what's going to happen. In fact, what we decided uh, with my sisters was, in fact, not to renounce to heal exactly. as well. For sure, also at AGL in the second half of 2020, we sold a lot of, uh, you know, casual shoes, relaxed uh, mm -hmm. kind of styles. But we are also very convinced that our girls are gonna wear you know like maybe in another uh, attitude in mind mindset but still they're um, they're gonna wear heels as well and the way we like to, to interpret them though is really in a more um let's say casual way somehow we either we studied the pitch that needed to be comfortable enough to wear from day to night or we studied the shape of the toes that had to be super comfortable to compensate because you know we all have gotten used to be super comfy right now in the life that we are living. Yeah. So we we wanted to reinterpret somehow the way we 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 want to be feminine. <laughs> so that I was curious. No, but it's really nice because I think you know the sheer shoes and with you know having a different sort of platforms and heights, you can really play with different silhouettes and a casual way um and kind of look at fashion not only just as wearing heels um to put on an outfit but how you can wear it um with a little height but also uh, you know flat so i think that's super cool but i definitely think heels are going to come back and you know even if it's just like you know once a week like throwing on a pair of heels like walking around i'm sure your calves will absolutely miss it love it <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. Start to, to get those muscles back. <laughs> right. And also at a, at a certain point, we're going to go back in travels and have some like yeah. kind of life. And uh, yeah, so every one of us will really be in need of that. In fact, are you planning for coming to Milan in the camp, like in short? Absolutely. Or I hope to come soon. I think once Europe kind of opens up with the lockdowns, which I know it's still... I'm quite tight at the moment. Um, I will definitely be there. My husband's in, in Europe right now and I'm very jealous, but it's also very quiet. We here in New York are really fortunate that the cases are down and people are really being smart and protecting themselves. And we have a little bit of normalcy and things are open. So it gives us, it gives us positive hope. <laughs> Yeah, it's what we're all hoping. In fact, with my sisters, we really decided that the first trip must be like the three of us together, enjoying what we used to do, like being together with our partners, like really make what we were, what we are missing so strongly, like being exactly. in direct contact with people. Absolutely. And, and, and Milan has really become almost like a second home to Johannes and I over the last few years. And we have our summer courses float there. So we every time we go, we just we have the best time and I'm dying to see my friends. <laughs> I can imagine that's also the, I mean designing the collection before the pandemic was something different because it was the result of um, a lot of speech between people that we um, meet here and there in, in the US or in Russia, in Europe. There was an inspiration, inspiration. An interaction, exact interaction. And inter that translates into creation. And uh, now it's something different. Of course, we still maintain um, the, the relation with our sure. friends, partners, and so on through the remote way. But this couple of collections that we designed during the pandemic is something that comes more 
intimate intimate <laughs> yeah so we create uh, exactly what we really feel comfortable to to wear every day it's a different exercise yeah. in fact it also and it also reflects into everyone's lifestyle now i think that you know everyone has more intimate relationships closer relationships with friends family spend more time together um, everything's a bit smaller and um you know cut down which i think is a really great thing in a way too yeah it's it's something different it's nice to experiment you you really take out some different sides of your personalities and translate into designing and then creating so it's it's just a, a different approach which is uh, good as well and sometimes it's a pause in between i'm sure we'll go back to normal but with a different mindset so we will know yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing your showroom in Milan, hopefully sooner than oh, later. Exactly. <laughs> it's really super beautiful, I have yeah. to tell you. And again, also here, we wanted to go a little bit uh, against uh, what is the normal uh, attitude. Somehow you tend to be a little bit closer uh, into yourself, but we really wanted to proceed and be brave enough to keep on going with our projects. And I think exactly. when finally we will be able to show it to the whole community because now just very few yeah. <laughs> like Europeans, very brave Europeans that decided to travel could enjoy it. But I can tell you, it's amazing. So yeah, it's amazing. Thanks to Glenn Sestig, that is the architect. And again, it's our uh, choosing a foreign architect and not just an Italian architect, it, it reflects perfectly our international vocation or openness because we are um, really three girls that are used also in the past when we were young to travel a lot to meet a lot of people a lot of people and to create together different uh, influences people, yeah with different influences so it's a mix of it. It's a, Italy and Belgium. The, the result is it's amazing. And finally, we have our beautiful house <laughs> yeah. here in Milan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we really welcome you all once uh, we will be in the position of traveling and we'll look forward to meeting you all in person. And you, Olivia, first for sure. Yeah. And uh, uh, like kind people that decided to join us uh, today for this uh, little um, uh, preview of the collection and this intimate conversation with you. So thank you everyone so much. And ladies, thank you so much for having me. This was such a fabulous conversation and I wish I was there, but this was actually wonderful. So thank you and congratulations. And I can't wait to see you soon. And grazie, I wish you a wonder, wonderful continued designs. Oh, grazie, <laughs> Olivia. Just let me remember that also tomorrow we have a special right. gift for our uh, partners uh, etc because we will launch our first short film that we realized together with Nowness and it's super beautiful so tomorrow will be available on agl.com so please connect also tomorrow with the website yeah. thank right. you grazie grazie grazie, grazie mille grazie Ciao. thank you so much grazie. Grazie. bye everyone <laughs> grazie